What's going on everyone? It's Abdali here with another awesome Mario Kart 8 tips and tricks video for Nintendo Switch. Today's episode is all about the full-on gold cart combo. Yes, you've heard it. The gold standard cart, the gold tires, and of course the gold glider. And we'll throw in a little bit of gold Mario to the mix as well. So, if you guys are pumped up for it, definitely smash that like button and share the video with a friend because we want to get everyone on board with this awesome cart combo, right? It's the end game unlockable. There's not too much to unlock in the game aside from a cart part, every like whatever, 50 coins, 100 coins, whatever it is. But at the end of the game, you know what's up. You know what's up. So here we go. We're going to jump into 150cc and boom, let's do this. We're going to go gold Mario, gold standard. Get this auto steering thing off of me forever, honestly. So gold cart. Gold tires, gold glider. Done. That's the full set with gold Mario. You're a gentleman now. You're a billionaire. You get to show off online. Congratulations. But let's take a look at this cart combination even further to see if it's going to be competitively viable. And taking a look at it, that's a very good top speed. But the acceleration at 1.75 is not as great. If this were Mario Kart 8 for Nintendo Wii U, that would be a 1 acceleration. But luckily, Nintendo has fixed the acceleration tiers, and we now have even more acceleration. But still, that's very, very, very low. So, of course, weight is awesome. Weight allows you to push around some characters and prevent you from getting pushed around. Handling is right down the middle with 3. Traction is 1.5, of course provided you use Gold Mario along with this. If you use any other character, the stats will be slightly off, but keep that in mind. So thinking about this, all right, so my impressions of this is this is an absolute pro build. Like you have to be very, very good at Mario Kart in order to maximize on this kart combo. You're gonna see a lot of people online using this. Trust me, it'll happen. The entire online gameplay is going to be filled with overused gold Mario Karts. And that's great. You know, I like the fact that the gold standard is absolutely viable and the gold wheels along with the gold glide, they're all viable. It's not like it's, it's just a trophy and you're never going to use it. I'm glad that they programmed it that way. But of course, like I said, it's a pro build simply because that acceleration stat. Online, if you get hit by one red shell, you could end up losing the game, provided you don't know how to play catch up. But with being a pro Mario Kart player, learning how to play defensive and alternating those items in order to block incoming red shells and taking pro lines and maximizing on all your mini turbos, that's what's really going to set you apart and allow you to be really good with this kart combo. So if you guys don't like the lack of acceleration on that, you can patch it up a little bit. You can patch it up with some roller wheels. I would totally recommend it because this gives you very, very good acceleration at the sacrifice of a little bit of speed. I think it's worth it tenfold because playing online with this cart combo is so much better. I love it. I would actually main this. <laughs> this is actually my main aside from Gold Mario. I'll, I'll do heavy me. But either way, this cart combo is great. So I'm excited for it. You get to show off the gold glider. You got a little bit of good traction over here. But I mean, if you really want to get good, bam, this is where it's at. So let's go through and teach you guys exactly what you need to do in order to unlock each and every one of these pieces so that you can show off your full on gold combo to all your friends. So gold standard, very simple. All you have to do is beat 150 CC and get the gold cup in every single one. You don't have to go above and beyond and get perfect 60s every single time in order to get the triple star run like I did over here, but doing it to get one star at least is going to be good for you. Now, in case you guys are looking for some information on how you beat the 150cc, what lines to take on which cups, what shroom shortcuts are there, don't worry, I got you covered. I got a full let's play on that. You guys can check it out in the description. Of course, the next one, which is the gold tires, it's going to take a little bit more work. So backing all the way out, you guys can see right over here that single player is where you're going to need to go. We're going to have to go into time trials and beat a bunch of time trial ghosts. Now, my generic cart combo build for this is going to be a heavy unit. You can use Morton, you can use Dry Bowser, you can use regular Bowser, you can even use Wario because he's a little bit smaller and compact. But I like Morton. Uh, he reminds me of Fat Albert and Tasmanian Devil for some reason. But he's good. He's going to be good because he allows you the max speed. And 90% of the time in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Time Trials, you're going to need the fastest speed possible. 
So, pair him up with the Circuit Special, which is one of the higher kart combinations. Uh, and of course, you can give him the Slick Wheels, provided you have them unlocked. If you don't have the Slick Wheels unlocked yet, keep going, keep playing, keep collecting those coins so that you do unlock them. Or, of course, you can use a Cyber Slick. They're the exact same thing, they're just reskins of each other. Any kind of glider will work. There's really only three different gliders out there. If you go for the, the speed gliders, those are good. Uh, or you can go for the speed glider with a little bit more traction. I like the waddle wing. In case you come across something, uh, you can see the difference between Wario glider and the waddle wing is a little bit more weight, less traction, a little bit less weight, more traction. So I would go with more traction in case you're doing a level like uh, bone dry dunes or something like that. So. This is the cart combo I would recommend for you guys if you guys are getting into time trialing. Now, of course, this isn't the cart combo that you're going to use for every single one of them. It may differ from everyone, but it's a great beginner start. So, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go to each and every one of these levels. Each and every one. And you know what we're going to have to do? We're going to have to beat all of the ghosts. So, if you click on Race Against Ghosts, you can see over here that we have... A person from Nintendo, Nin, and then a star. That prefix means that they're Nintendo's ghost. And you're going to have to race against them. So over here in Water Park, for example, uh, we have this Nintendo ghost that has Mr. Scooty. The roller wheel is a super glider. And we just have to beat him. So all you have to do, if you're, if you're a beginner, I would definitely say view ghost. And then click on him just to see what kind of lines he takes. And uh, if you're an expert or someone who's played Mario Kart 8 uh, on Nintendo Wii U before and you're kind of familiar with how the layouts are, you may already know which path to take in order to get the 10 coins, in order to get max speed, and which shroom shortcuts to take. So right over here you can see that you can review any one of these ghosts in order to kind of learn what they do. But of course, these ghosts are not optimal. They're not world record holders or else it would be really impossible for us to beat every single one of them on every single track and gain the gold tires. So of course you can watch and uh, you can race from exactly this menu. Once you're done observing their behavior, apply your own and see what you can do about that. Maybe try a different card combo or just use the one that I've recommended for you. If you want to get really, really good and uh, know some really, really pro lines, you have to go to Online Ghost. That's just what you gotta do. So take a look at the top ranking person, right? So you click on A, you can download the ghost data. I did a little bit of time trialing before the game came out, but of course, now that the game's out, everyone's really, really fast. So this guy is a whole, like, six seconds faster than my best time. That's insane. Like, yeah, just about, like, five, five, six seconds. But, of course, you can see he's using Yoshi Bike with the roller and Wario Wing. So even though I recommended that we use slick circuit special it doesn't mean that you can blanket use that for everything and have the fastest time so pretty exciting if you want to know the best pro lines you watch the online ghost for the world record holders that's how you win so long story short you have to go through every single one of these levels all through the cups and beat every single one now you don't have to do it on 200 cc if you press the x button on your pro controller or your joy con uh you can switch it over to 200 cc and you can race in that faster cart class. Although it's fun, I don't feel that it's necessary, or at least I know it's not necessary in order to get the gold tires, because all you have to do is just 150cc. I think it's a new addition, but I personally won't do any 200cc time trials, considering the fact that 200cc is not really standard in tournament play, and 150cc is. So, uh, it's up to you guys. If you want to try it, test your might, go for it. All right, uh, now... The last but not least, the thing that you want to do is, in order to get the gold glider, is going to take a lot of time. Now, if you take a look on the very bottom of the screen over here, this is play stats. You click on this, in order to unlock the gold glider, you need 5,000 coins obtained. Yes, you heard it, 5,000. That's going to take you some time. Of course, coins can be obtained at a maximum of 10 per race. So, of course, you can go race 10 quit out and then just race another 10 or just beat the gps make sure that you have 10 coins you can set it up so you're playing against two people put them both on autopilot and just race on through you can do that as well uh but of course it will take time there's no real super fast way it's just gonna you gotta put in your work you gotta do it now some of you guys who have played mario kart 8 for nintendo wii u you'll notice that it's 5,000 here but on wii u it was 10,000. 
And that was a lot of coins. Oh my goodness. I remember when I played Mario Kart 8 for Nintendo Wii U, I would just grind coins and just grind coins until I'd get that part. And it took forever, right? But anyway, that's exactly how you do it. So good luck to all of you guys that are playing along with and trying to get those coins. Uh, the last thing, we've already talked about it in a previous video, but I'll cover it again. Gold Mario is really not too hard to get but he is one of the last unlockables as well. In order to get Gold Mario, you have to beat 200cc all the way through exactly like you did 150cc. You don't have to get the triple star. Uh, all you need is just one star. You just have to completely beat it, get the gold trophies, and you will unlock Gold Mario. So ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Are you guys going to be showing off your Gold Mario Kart combo to your friends? Are you guys gonna attempt to main this combo simply because of the bragging rights involved with it? I think so. This card combo is great. I totally love it. So that's going to be it. Hopefully this video has helped you out. We will indeed continue with even more Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Tips and Tricks tutorials. So let me know in the comments what you guys thought of unlocking everything. Did you guys unlock everything? It may take you some time to get all those coins because that was the last thing that I unlocked. That's for sure. So uh, thanks for watching. Again, if you guys want more tips and tricks, you guys can click right over here on screen. Newest video on my channel there and of course some recommendations there. If you guys want to learn some pro tips and like some different lines, I would highly suggest watching all 36 videos of my 100% walkthrough of the game. We go through all the carts, cart classes. We do 150cc, we do mirror, and of course 200. And of course, if you want to stay updated on the latest and greatest Mario Kart 8 Deluxe content, definitely click right over there so you guys can subscribe for absolutely no money. It's absolutely free in order to join the Abdala Nation. But we'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.